Have you ever found yourself constantly saying yes to other people's demands, even at the cost of your own well-being? If so, you might be experiencing what's known as people-pleasing behavior. This term, while not clinical, encapsulates a pattern where you prioritize others' needs over your own, often to your detriment. One key characteristic of this behavior is excessive selflessness. You might find it hard to say no, even when requests are unreasonable, which can lead to resentment and burnout. You may neglect your personal needs, setting aside your own hobbies and goals to cater to others. Another sign is that you seek approval from others, basing your self-worth on their validation and happiness. Difficulty setting boundaries is also a common trait. You may find yourself taking responsibility for others' feelings, overstepping into their lives unasked, or relying on their opinions instead of trusting your own judgment. Let's delve deeper into the consequences of people-pleasing behavior and how it can affect your life. Being a people-pleaser may seem like you're being kind and considerate, but it can have serious emotional and physical consequences. Let's delve deeper into these implications, shall we? A people-pleaser often finds themselves in a constant state of anxiety and stress. The overwhelming pressure to fulfill everyone's needs, to always say yes, to always be available, can lead to chronic stress. It's like running a marathon without a finish line. You're always on the move, always striving. But the goalposts keep shifting. This relentless pursuit of others' happiness can also lead to low self-esteem. When your self-worth is tied to other people's approval, you may start to feel inadequate when you can't meet their expectations. You might begin to question your worth, not for who you are, but for what you can do for others. It's a painful reality to live in, feeling like your value is measured solely by how much you can please others. And then, there's burnout. Neglecting your own needs, ignoring self-care, pushing yourself to the brink to cater to others, it's a recipe for exhaustion. It's not just about fatigue, though that's a big part of it. It's about feeling emotionally drained, about losing the joy in things you once loved because you're too tired, too stretched thin to enjoy them. It's about feeling like you're merely surviving, not thriving. The effects of people-pleasing can be insidious. They creep up on you, gradually taking hold until you're so deep in the cycle that you can't see a way out. But recognizing these signs is crucial. Understanding the toll that people-pleasing is taking on your mental and physical health is the first step towards change. So, if you find yourself constantly stressed, battling low self-esteem, or on the brink of burnout, take a moment to reflect. Could your desire to please others be the root cause? If so, it's time to acknowledge these consequences. It's time to understand that your needs matter too. Understanding these consequences is the first step towards breaking the cycle of people-pleasing. Now that you know the consequences, how can you break free from the shackles of people-pleasing behavior? You might wonder. Well, the journey starts with self-awareness. It's about recognizing the patterns of people-pleasing and understanding their negative impacts on your life. Take a step back, reflect on your interactions and identify instances where you've neglected your needs for the sake of others. Once you've gained awareness, the next step is setting boundaries. This doesn't mean you should turn into a no machine, but rather learning to communicate your needs assertively and respectfully. It's all right to decline requests that are unreasonable or detrimental to your well-being. Remember, saying no to others often means saying yes to yourself. But what does saying yes to yourself look like? It looks like prioritizing self-care, whether it's investing time in a hobby, taking a relaxing bath, or simply allowing yourself to take a break. Self-care activities are crucial. They help rejuvenate your mind and body and remind you that your well-being matters too. And while you're at it, don't forget to practice self-compassion. It's about accepting your imperfections, forgiving yourself for missteps, and focusing on self-acceptance. You're human, and it's okay to make mistakes. What's important is learning from them and moving forward. Lastly, consider seeking professional support. Therapists can provide valuable insights into the root causes of your people-pleasing tendencies and help you develop healthier coping mechanisms. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. You don't have to navigate this journey alone. Breaking free from the cycle of people-pleasing isn't easy, 
It requires courage, patience, and a lot of self-love. But trust us, the journey is worth it. You'll find a sense of freedom and authenticity that's far more fulfilling than any approval you could ever earn from others. Remember, it's not selfish to look after your own needs and well-being. Because at the end of the day, you can't pour from an empty cup. So fill yours first, and let the overflow be the love and care you give to others. So, what have we learned about people-pleasing behavior today? We've uncovered that people-pleasing is not a clinical diagnosis, but a syndrome. A pattern of behavior characterized by an excessive focus on making others happy, often at the expense of one's own needs. It's like constantly saying yes even to unreasonable requests and seeking approval from others to find self-worth. It's a struggle to set boundaries, assuming responsibilities for others' feelings and overstepping into their lives without being asked. This behavior leads to ignoring personal needs, neglecting self-care, personal interests and goals. It's a vicious cycle where the people-pleaser is dependent on others' validation thus finding it challenging to make decisions independently. The consequences? They're emotional and physical. The constant pressure to fulfill everyone's needs leads to chronic stress and anxiety. The relentless focus on others can lead to feelings of low self-esteem, inadequacy and worthlessness. The neglect of self-care results in burnout and emotional exhaustion. But it's not all doom and gloom. We've also learned that it's possible to break free from the cycle of people-pleasing. It starts with self-awareness, recognizing the patterns of people-pleasing, and understanding their negative consequences. Next, it's about setting boundaries. It's about learning to say no, communicating needs assertively, and respecting others' boundaries. It's about prioritizing self-care, investing in activities that nourish your well-being, both physically and emotionally. It's also about practicing self-compassion, accepting imperfections, forgiving yourself for missteps, and focusing on self-acceptance. And lastly, it's about seeking support, considering therapy to understand the root of people-pleasing and developing healthier coping mechanisms. Prioritizing your own well-being is not selfish. It's essential for maintaining healthy relationships and living a fulfilling life. You deserve to have your needs met and to be valued for who you are not just for what you can do for others. The ultimate takeaway, you're not alone, and there are strategies to help navigate the path towards a healthier, happier you.